Please, can anybody please help my husband? I'm one of the attending physicians here. Don't worry, I'm here to help. My daddy was thirsty, so I got him something to drink. Interns, help get me this patient to an examination room set. Yes, yes doctor. doctor. Right, right away. away. Alright interns, each of you have to assess this patient and tell me what symptoms are being presented. My heart is beating so fast. Hopefully not as fast as he beats me. <laughs> the patient's heart is beating fast, doctor. Yes, that's tachycardia. Oh, it hurts when I breathe. Ow! Oh! Yikes! Oh! The patient is also having difficulty breathing with associated pain. Good. The patient has respiratory distress and dyspnea. Who's next? I feel the I have a headache. Which head? The patient is feeling pain and has a headache. Wow. You're good. The skin color shows good perfusion even though the patient seems to be gasping for air. Nice observation. What about you? My throat is burning and my breath tastes a little funny. The patient feels burning in his throat and his breath smells like bitter almonds. That is because I cooked his favorite dish, sauteed ampalaya with almonds. What great detectives you are. So based on all these signs and symptoms, what do you think is wrong with the patient? I got it. The patient needs too many almonds. Um, I guess that could be possible, but very unlikely. Where did you study medicine? <laughs> I studied at USD. Utut sabay tae. Well, how about you? You're a graduate from FEU. You two little neurons. <laughs> what do you think? Has the patient had an erection for more than four hours? <laughs> oh my. I think I'll leave my comments to myself. Do you have a better diagnosis? A doctor, the patient has cyanide poisoning. Excellent. We'll run some blood work to confirm. How did you know? It must have been the great schooling I received from Fatima. God bless Fatima. Oh, and the drug that the patient's child was holding gave me a little hint. Cyanide poisoning is deadly, and it is important that we understand how cyanide affects the body. It actually affects cellular respiration taking place in the mitochondria. More specifically, cyanide affects the electron transport chain. Ooh! Sounds, Sounds interesting. It is. Now take a seat, kids, and let me tell you a little story. Yay! Once upon a time, there was this lovely lady named Cytochrome Oxidase Complex. You can just call me Complex 4. She lived in harmony with the rest of her sister complexes. <laughs> along with the rest of her electron transport chain gang. <laughs> they are a happy family living in the land of mitochondria. Complex 4 and her chain gang spend their days working on a farm, harvesting ATP. Let's check out a typical day at work, shall we? The Complex sisters love to share stuff, and their most favorite thing to share are electrons. 
And look, here comes NEDH with electrons. I have electrons for a miss NADH dehydrogenase. <laughs> Hello! NADH dehydrogenase sounds awfully formal. Just call me Complex One. If you say so, Complex One, here you go. Why, thank you very much. These pair of electrons will be helpful for planting hydrogen ions outside. Complex 1 makes use of the electrons given by NADH while planting a hydrogen ion out in the intramembrane space. My sister would love this. I just need a delivery boy. I'm right here. My name is Ubiquinone, but my nickname is Coenzyme Q. Hi, Coenzyme Q. Can you get these electrons over to my sister? It would be my pleasure to shuttle them over. Meanwhile, another complex sister gets a similar surprise, and it's in the FADH form. Is there a Mr. Snake Q reductase that can sign for this package? <laughs> hey there, Succinate. That's my given name. But everyone calls me complex too. What's this? Electrons. I hope you like it. Well, let me reduce your load of electrons and take it from you. It's so cute. I gotta pass this on to my sister. Let me call a beacon on. Take note that complex 2 doesn't move hydrogen ions like her sister complex 1. Coenzyme Q Shuttle Services, how can I help you? So Coenzyme Q takes the pair of electrons and transports it over to another sister complex. Good day, I'm transferring electrons to a Miss Cytochrome BC1. <laughs> oh jeez, I hate that name. I prefer Complex 3. It's less, um, complex. Like Complex 1, Complex 3 gets pumped to move protons whenever she receives a pair of electrons. So she goes outside and plants one hydrogen ion out in the mitochondria intramembrane space. I know Complex 1 and Complex 2 like to use the same electron transport service. Hey hey! But Coenzyme Q doesn't deliver to where my other sister is. I'll have to find another delivery guy. Cytochrome C, where are you? Cytochrome C at your service. Can you send these electrons to my sister? Most definitely. You can be sure she gets it. Hardly anything can get in my way. for cytochrome C oxidase. Why, that's me. Everyone else usually calls me Complex 4, though. Okay, Complex 4 it is. The electrons came from your other complex sisters. Speaking of which, I find it amazing that none of you have any boyfriends, especially you. <laughs> oh, stop it. Having a boyfriend can get complex, and I'm already complex as it is. Besides, I love to work on this farm. If my sisters stop working, no more ATP will be harvested. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'll be back with more electrons. When Complex 4 gets four electrons, she will use them to turn eight hydrogen ions and elemental oxygen into two molecules of water. She then takes the four remaining hydrogen ions and plants them outside, just like Complex 1 and Complex 3. With all the hydrogen ions building up outside, it creates a proton gradient that triggers Mr. ATP synthase to get active.
look at all these beautiful hydrogen ions. Why aren't you?